Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the What's Good podcast. It feels like forever. It has been forever. It actually this has. is late. Sorry. It's late. And we also filmed the other ones like ahead of time. Yeah. It has yeah. been like two, two and a bit weeks. Yeah. yeah. My life's falling apart, by the way. Uh, we diving straight in with that then? <laughs> diving straight in with the. Okay. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. What's up? No, it's all right. I'm, well, I mean, no, I'm okay. What do you mean? <laughs> you, can't what? Tease, you can't tease us with that. No, so I, I had a, just a family member who was really ill. Yeah, and then had an operation. And I was like, they're fine now. The operation went well and recovering well. But I was in America. Yeah. And I knew they were not very well. And they were scheduled in for an operation. I didn't know when they, it was scheduled in until I was just about to set off. So I went on it. And then the day while I was there, the operation got scheduled for the day after I got back, which was the FPL Croatia trip. Yeah. So I didn't go on that. Cancel that. I was like, I'm not going to go on that. I'll get home, see them the day before, then the operation happens. And then like my entire family got COVID, including people I live with, including like my mom and stuff. So I couldn't go home. So I stayed in America a few days and then I um, got back. I, I actually changed my flight. So I, by the way, I, I didn't book business for this trip. I okay. Because it's just, it's just very expensive. Okay. And times are rough, cost of living and all that. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm joking, <laughs> I'm joking. But anyway, I, they upgraded me to free business. Really? Yeah, because I tried to extend the trip by one day to go and watch the um, Man United game, but it was not possible. Um, but it ended up being possible. But then um, they, yeah, they were like, oh, sorry, we can't change your booking. It's going to cost you seven grand to change it by day. I'm like, well, I'm not going to do that then. I was like, why is it so much? They're like, oh, you, got, you upgraded your flight with points. I was like, I didn't. I haven't spoken to them. They are like, oh, it's a free upgrade then. I was like, cool. But I ended up not getting on that flight. <laughs> Booked a new one. And that, I had to book economy on that one, by the way. Because it was, again, 11, 11 grand for business. Yeah, crazy. Ugh. But I ended up, I ended up upgrading to premium on the day. It sent me like a little text, so I did that. But anyway, long story short, I get, I, I flew back, didn't sleep on the plane, landed 7 a.m., went straight to see the person at the hospital, and then um, had to do bare shit, and now I'm here. So I, I've, I've not slept. I'm, I'm like old Randy. Oh, no. No, no, I'm probably funny Not today. old Randy. I'm probably funny today. Yeah? Yeah. I haven't slept much at all. Okay. I feel good, though. <laughs> no, I feel awful. No, but anyway, I've got some stories from the plane if you'd like to Yeah, hear you said this before. Yeah, so I, by the way, the, the, the discharge now from hospital. Nice. So, yeah. Woo! Bless. Anyway, um, I don't know this other shit, but that's for a different day. <laughs> well, so I'm on the plane. Yep. In premium economy. Yep. So I I like to drink a bit of whiskey in the airplane. Not just the airplane, but yeah. I like whiskey in general, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, but like, I just, it makes me like, it gets me in a really good vibe on the plane because either I can fall straight to sleep or I'm just happy. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just like really happy. Um, and, and I love, for some reason, on BA, when you ask for a whiskey, in obviously business, you, just, you get as much as you want. But in like business, they always go like, this happens more than once. I'm like, can I get whiskey? And they're like, yeah. And it's like two bottles. Like Damn. two of the little, and I'm like, why do they keep giving me two? I'm not sure if it's a single or if it's like, a, I don't know. Anyway, I got two whiskeys. So I just keep pouring it up, you know, living life. Anyway. There's two stories. One's quite long. The second one's a banger, but it's short. Okay. Anyway, so I'm on the plane um, and they give you a menu and it's on the menu. It's like, you know, uh, chicken casserole, seared cod. Sorry, but that's a nice option for me. Or like, you have to apologize because you <laughs> almost ate fish or did eat fish. <laughs> True. And vegetable, like pas uh, vegetarian pasta or whatever. So they're all nice. But then they come around and by the time they get to you, they've run out of the cod. So yeah. like, what's the point? Just give me chicken then, you know? Anyway, come through, and she's like, oh, give the guy next to me chicken. By the way, the guy next to me is a really nice guy. He's Greek, so I don't really speak much English. I think he's Greek, could be different. I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess Greek, didn't ask him. But he gets a the chicken, they give him the tray, and she goes to me. How oh, do you know he was really nice? Because he was just like, like we, we spent a flight together. So he's just kind of like- Yeah, but you didn't talk to him. Yeah, but not, not really like, but okay, he wasn't annoying to the next to then. So like, he kept it to himself, I kept to myself, you know? Okay. He didn't really watch TV, just did that thing a like guys A good passenger. Do. Yeah, okay. he's what I do, I just sit there and watch the flight thing. Okay. That's weird. Although on the way there, I did watch Godfather for the first time. That's weird. And? and that, it was fucking sick. Okay. I, my heart was racing. You seen it? <laughs> it's probably the whiskey. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> you're right. Uh, anyway, um, sick film. What, uh, so on the way back, I'm next to this guy and she comes and says to me, oh, I've only got chicken left or pasta. I was like, yeah, chicken's fine. She goes, oh, sorry, I've not got a tray. Let me go and get a tray for you. So she leaves with the trolley. Keep in mind, she's already given the guy next to me his food. So he's got his food on his little table. But then he decides to go for a piss. So he's like, can I go for a piss? I'm like, yeah, you don't have to ask me. But he didn't ask me, he asked me if I can move. Yeah. So let's that's, that's, that's get that straight. Anyway, so I leave, he <laughs> goes, and weirdly, I don't know why I find this really weird, he put his food on his seat. Because those tables that come out of the yeah, little Yeah, where side. else would you put it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Where else would you put it? But I'm, then also I'm like, 
just weird to see your food on the. Uh, so I took a picture of it. I, got, I can show you if you want. <laughs> it's just his food on his food on his cheek. I just thought it was weird, bizarre to do that. Can you anyway, send it, send it to Nick so we can see it, please. Oh, okay. I need to see how you took a photo of this. <laughs> that's, that's well, keep in mind, I'm like I'm living life on whiskey right now, so I'm like not now, but during the time I'm talking about. Wow, I did a brand deal. Look how many times I did it. Fuck. <laughs> I'm falling off, man. I can't fucking do anything anymore. Um. Oh, here we go. I also can send you my meal, which looked dope. Um. <laughs> I don't have to dope them. What's your number, Nick? Uh, it's in the chat. That? Oh yeah. Does this story continue or is it yeah, like? No, that's not it. it okay, continues. I didn't know if the climax was. No, it's not climax. He Don't put worry, his said, food said, on a chair. No, it's a it's a beginning, middle, and end okay. storytelling. You know, I'm not great at storytelling, but I'm trying to improve. Okay. Let me know how I do. Okay. So anyway, he goes to the toilet, right? And then the problem is the lady comes back with a trolley before he's done. So she's coming down. I'm stood up waiting for him to let him back in because I didn't sit down. I just, I just stayed up the whole time. And then she, he, I'm just like, what the fuck's gonna happen here? Because she's gonna give me my food. And, and then you're just gonna have to the, stand there. But I'm gonna have to put my food on the seat. <laughs> yeah. To let him through. Anyway, in this period, it, it, there's a British bloke. It's important that I say British because there are a lot of moaners in life. And I actually think that, you know, if you go if you go UK or sorry, British person or American person, I go British all the time. I don't hate Americans, but you know, they're Americans. They so suck. it's got a little bit of yeah. like a flavour to them. Uh Karen's like you know, are a different story. They're they're just, you know, annoying. But I witnessed this British bloke, she says to him, like, Oh sorry, so there's no more chicken left. So I had the last one yeah, and I, and I had no tray. So she had to go and get me one. So she left to get me one. So he's like, oh, can I get the chicken please? And she's like, oh, sorry, we haven't got any left. And he's like, he's, and he's fuming. His arms are crossed, got a bald head as well. Relatively big guy. <laughs> okay. He's fuming. He's, he's like, this is fucking un- unacceptable. And I understood that no, like whiskey, by the way, I'm like vibing with whiskey. I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, there, like smiling at him like, Sorry, bro, I got the last, got the last one. And he's like, oh, how come he's got one? By the way, I'm stood right next to him. <laughs> she's like, oh, it's just, it's just the way it is, you know. We've got, got pasta. He's like, no, I don't want pasta. Fucking shit. He's like, oh, he's like I want chicken. She's like, we don't have any chicken. And then he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, oh I, won't, I won't eat anything then. Like, leave me alone. And she's like, oh, can I get you anything else? You know, some biscuits or some yogurt or whatever. And he's like, no, I want nothing. He's, just like, <laughs> and he's really angry. I'm like, bro, I'm just, keep in mind, I'm just, I have my food on the way. <laughs> so I'm just very, very enjoying life. So she comes down. The guy, the Greek guy gets in. Might not be Greek, but I'm saying it's Greek. There you go. There's a food on his, he's just left on his seat, look. Uh, why, 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 is, why is there so much of your seat? What do you mean? Picture? Well, it's like, it's a probably wide angle lens. Cause obviously I, I can't really like, I don't want to make it obvious that I was taking it. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm like texting on my phone. I have wifi here, so I'm messaging like people as well, this picture. Um, got my charger plugged in, look at my socks. Usually I change my socks, but I didn't want to this time. This is such a weird picture. Yeah, obviously it is. I didn't, I didn't take it <laughs> like, to show you. I didn't take it to show you guys. I just thought it was weird how you put his food on his seat. Yeah, but I don't know if that's weirder than you taking a picture. <laughs> no, it's not. I was, <laughs> I'm definitely the weirder one. Okay. I'm, I'm documenting my life. I'm an influencer. Did you take the picture with the idea that you were going to show us? Or was it no, 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 no. Show you just a friend. I was like, oh, look at this, you know? Anyway, so- <laughs> Look um, at this crazy flight. <laughs> then I had to put my food on my seat. I didn't take a picture of that. But keep in mind, I'm li- literally like waved right now, like tipsy. I, it, the whiskey doesn't last long, but it, when it's there, I'm, I'm like loving life. I'm really happy. And then I get depressed afterwards. That's okay. Um, <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> so then I, I get back to my seat. Uh, we're all sat down and start to eat our food. And the guy who's mad, I can see him in my peripherals. So he's like, he's behind me. He's on the, the aisle across from me, but behind, so I can see him. So I'm like here, I'm like, what do I do now to piss this guy off as much as possible? You just got to start like, take a bite of the chicken and go, yeah. Oh, that's so, so good. <laughs> so I was like, either I do that or I just don't eat it. I was like, how sick would that be if I just don't eat it? <laughs> just <laughs> mush it up yeah, and push yeah. it. Yeah, so he's like fuming that I had the last one. I'm just there, headphones on. Why like, did you want to do it? Just because he was a dick? Yeah, I just want a really okay. annoy guy. He's, cause, by the way, he was, he was just so nasty to this lady. Not, not, not warranted either. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to mess with this guy. So I decided that like, you know, I could not eat the food, but actually I don't eat it because it's food. Yeah. Um, so I make sure I eat everything, right? So I eat literally every single thing on that plate. There's like, it was like feta, ch- feta cheese salad. Yeah. And I like salad with like a bit of something in it. That's how something like, I don't know, chicken or what. But I was like, you know what, I'm gonna eat this. I, was, I ate every leaf. There's not one leaf in there that I, was not, I didn't eat. So I ate all of that. Oh, oh the, and then I have my butter, my bread. You know, they give you a little bit of bread. Yeah. But the butter was really like- um, Solid. Solid, yeah. yeah. And cause I'm like all over the place because of my drink. I like really like digging in to try and get this little bit of butter out and it just flings out. <laughs> and it doesn't hit this guy, but it hits the guy next to me across the aisle. He doesn't even notice. I also took a, took a picture of that. There's a little bit of butter on the floor in the aisle. Um, and I'm a mess, the crumbs everywhere. I'm just having the best. Can we see that oh, picture man. as well, please? There's no, okay, sure. There's no point, but you're sure. <laughs> because I'm here. Oh, there's no, I took a selfie as well, but you're not, you're not having that one. <laughs> what? Then the selfie's really bad. I sent it to Discord and deleted it straight away. Like, <laughs> Why did you send it to Discord? <laughs> I just did. I was like, this is me vibing with whiskey. And I was like, I swear I can show you it. <laughs> yeah, I'd delete that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but bro, it's because anyway, listen, shut up. Um 
Anyway, so then I'm eating the food. I eat all of it. There's my salad. It's not doing like great. The chicken. That, was, that, was that, that butter hasn't hit him. No, it did. It's passed off him. Oh, it hit okay. him and it into the aisle. Okay. Um, he didn't notice, which I was gassed about. But I'm like, this guy in the back, like this fucking guy, is the guy who took my food and he's spilling his butter and stuff. Um, chicken also was amazing. I've never had chicken like on a plane that good. It's like so like, how would you explain chicken? Succulent. Yeah, it's just like so soft. Um, and then to make things even better, the flight goes, I don't sleep in the flight. I don't know why I just couldn't sleep. Um, land at 7 a.m. We land for an hour, right? And we're there for an hour because they hadn't no stairs. I hate that. So the flight was fast. It was a seven hour flight. It should have been eight because the fast winds. But I like, just sat there on the, on the runway because there's no stairs. I had to get the stairs from the other side of the airport. Um, so, and we get in, we get to the uh, the passport control. So, you know that in Terminal 5, they've got the machines where you yeah. like scan. If they don't work, I know yours don't work a lot or didn't work a it lot. It does now, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, you have to always go seek assistance. So, I, that happens to me for some, for some reason. So, I go over there to, to seek assistance. And the girl in front, the girl who's the passport control lady, She's talking to the guy in front of me and he's like, he's come from America, must have been on the same flight. And she's asking him like, oh, where have you come from? He's like, oh, America. She's like, where, where are you going? He's, he told, I don't know what he said, but he said he's gone to another flight in Europe yeah. somewhere, you know? And then the guy, for some reason, the guy who was angry at me on the plane was next to me. He was behind me. Guy. Yeah. And he was complaining at them as well. He was shout, <laughs> literally shouting in front of everyone queuing. He's like, oh, is it a fucking conversation or what? Like what, what stuff all the chit chat? And then I'm like, bro, she's not chit chatting to him. She's, she's a passport doing her officer. Job, yeah. She has to ask, where have you come from? Where are you going? <laughs> I'm like, bro, I couldn't believe my eyes, man. And I, I just went through and um, yeah, never saw that guy again. Damn. Obviously I didn't say anything because I'm British, you know? Yeah. But in my head, I was saying the most Should have taken a selfie with him. I should have. Yeah. But I'm too nervous to ask. <laughs> also, it's probably like you're the guy who, Stole my chicken. Anyways, that's story number one. I, I wasn't that great of a story. Number two, <laughs> number two gets funnier. So I'm on, the, I'm on the flight, right? And uh, it's like maybe six hours in, so two hours to go. Or well, I guess one in the end. But I was I, I just like, had a num bum. I, you know, I was like pins and needles. Num bum. Num, num, yeah, for the numbum. American listeners, that means ass. A num buttocks. Yeah, that's the one. So I was like, and I, I hate the people on planes, right? You should do this, by the way. You should really, like, you shouldn't sit on the plane for like, that long without getting up. You should, like, move a little bit, you know, get circulation going, blood, blood and all that. But I hate the guys who do that or the people who do that and, like, stretch in the middle of the aisles and stuff. I'm like, yeah. oh, like you know, you're just watching a film and you've got, like, a dick in your face. And I don't mind a, <laughs> I don't mind a dick in my face, but not on the plane. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. It's time and place for everything. Um, so I'm like, I don't want to do that with that guy. So I'm like, I'll just go to the toilet. So I was like, I go to the toilet. And then, and then when, I was to- when I was queuing for the toilet, I was like, oh, I could do a bit of stretching there. Cause that's normal then, you're out of yeah, the yeah. way. I was like, fine. Anyway, I go into the toilet finally. And I'm like, you know what, I could, probably, I could do a shit. I definitely could. <laughs> and I, I, I don't mind, I, I'm not the kind of guy who doesn't like, I don't care about public. I just yeah, shit I everywhere. Yeah, I, I, I'd rather feel good afterwards and feel you know weird. So I go in there, do my thing. And then like, usually when you, for those who don't know, on airplanes, it flushes really strong, right? Yeah. It like takes, yeah. it's like use the whole gravitational pull of the earth to just suck it up. We'll suck it down. I don't know about that. But, but it's, just, it's like, you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's sick. Um, it's anyway, I, I, I wasn't, I didn't shit a log, but it was like, it wasn't runny, but it's like, you know, a bit messy, right? Yeah. It just didn't go down. <laughs> it's like, fuck's sake, man. And so I flush it again. I'm like, bro, there's a limit amount of times I can flush it. Cause like, if someone's waiting for me, and they're just, and they're just, flush, just hit, flush, yeah, flush, I'm like, flush. it's embarrassing. You know, you always do a little eye contact thing and then you get out. So I'm like, damn. So I end up, what I end up doing is I'm like, I can't flush it one more time. So I get some like tissue uh, and, I, and I go and like, try and push it down a bit and clean it a little bit. So I do that. It helps a bit, but then it, make, it kind of makes it worse now because now it looks like someone's gone in there and like, tried to clean it. <laughs> so I flush it again and it just doesn't go down. I'm like, fuck's sake. And I'm like, you know what? I don't know anyone in this plane. It does, does not matter at all. Again. Yeah, I'm not gonna see him again. It doesn't matter. It's gonna land soon. So I'm like, fuck it. I just leave the toilet, right? Get out there. The one person fucking waiting is the guy sat next to me. No, <laughs> wait, the... Not the, not the angry guy, but the guy, the Greek, the Greek guy. Man. Yeah, my friend, my best friend on the plane. So I'm like, <laughs> the one person on the entire plane where I would not want to see, who's, who knows I've just shit into that toilet, is the guy next to me. And then, and, then, and, then, and then I have to sit back down on my seat and he comes through, he's like, oh, excuse me. And I'm like, he definitely knows I've just destroyed that toilet. <laughs> and I didn't even destroy it, it was just normal, but it's just messy. Did you not think to give him a friendly heads up? Like, hey man, maybe don't use this one. What do you mean don't use this one? There's only two to choose from. Yeah, well then you use the other one. You gotta just do the, the classic like, oh, Guy before me had a mare, True. bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 but he didn't speak English. So True. Like, that's the worst part. I can't, I can't even be like, sorry. Because he, like, he, she was like, he's not going to complain to you. Yeah, yeah I was like, sorry, like, I speak Greek. Yeah. By the way, he's definitely not Greek. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think he was like Japanese or something. No, 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 no. he was definitely like. Something <laughs> 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 like, completely that's different. Something really wrong, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but um, it's funny because when the lady came through to ask him what drink he wants, she was like, uh, he's like, oh, Coke. She says Coke. She's like, I don't ice. She's like, no, Coke. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this guy doesn't speak English. <laughs> but, you know. Good flight. 
It actually wasn't bad. You know, I always stress because like, obviously when you go business and you, then you go not business, it's really bad. It actually is like a, the worst change ever. And it makes you sound like a first world problem type thing. But yeah. it, it, there's nothing better than like sleeping and then getting there when you slept because you, yeah. you feel like you've time traveled. And we're like, economy is fine, but then premium economy is actually actually pretty good actually. Because like you get a lot more room and you can really put your chair back and stuff. Um, so it was fine. But the flight there was fine. Flight back was fine. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to pay like 11 grand or seven grand. Yeah, that's outrageous. Yeah. The thing is for me, I'm like, when I book ahead, I'm always like, oh, it's so expensive, man. But then when I get there, I'll upgrade no question. Like if, they, if they're like, oh, grand upgrade, I'll be like, yeah, I'll do that. Because like, <laughs> you're just so tired on the day and it's so aggravating. But now I've flown so much now. I've got like a sick... Um, my my, my uh, membership's sick now. What is it? It's, well, it's, I don't want to tell you because you've probably got a better one. Oh. <laughs> Which was gold. No, silver. Oh, I'm silver. Yeah. Let's go, yeah. So even if you do economy now, it's let you through. Yeah. Yeah, sick. Bougie. Yeah, but... Uh, yeah. I was recording yesterday. Yep. Two days ago. Sidecast. Monday. Filmed mm-hmm. on Monday. While we're filming, I get a text from a unknown number. Oh, my God. Yeah. And um, this person, I'll read, I'll, I'll read the, the chat... When we do these things, I pretend I don't, I've not heard this before. Should I? I don't know. Nick hasn't heard this before. Yeah, no, no. I'm not saying. I'm not trying. I'm trying to say like, how do you want me to react? No, I don't know. On the journey with this one, I think. Okay. Right. So this number texts me Whoa. and he says, "Hey T, got your number from Mike. How much for an ounce? Can you drop?" <laughs> and straight away I'm like, "Okay, well this sounds like narcotic talk." Yeah. And I do not partake in this, so I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So I'm sat there with Deji and Josh, and John's there. Oh, nice. Oh, Deji did sidecast? Yeah. That's sick. That's sick. And we're literally just like, all right, do we reply something? Like, do I just reply with like a voice note saying like, how much for an ounce have come? <laughs> nice. That yeah, that, I'd love that, by the way. How but, much? Right. Um, anyway. So I reply, yeah, in Enfield, drops on Wednesdays. Want some light or dark? <laughs> did, you, did you know what that meant? Deji said it. Okay. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, how did you? How did, what the fuck? <laughs> all right. That's Deji on Tinder. He says- Mad. <laughs> he goes, I right, calm. How much for dark? So then John Are you being, live on Sidecast right now? No, no, no. Okay, no. okay. John, being the drug addict he is, True. says, Tell him you got black tar. <laughs> so true. I said, only got black tar, G. Five hundred. Yeah. Got a deal on. Yeah. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. He said Is that how much it costs? Uh well we rounded up for an hour. See, we 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 went off basic streets. Where's black tar? Is that nice. Coke? Black tar heroin. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Yeah, yeah it makes sense, actually. He said Sound. I'll take three ounce if you got that much. Who buys heroin? That's crazy. And then um, I'll send you this. I'll send this picture to the group. Nick, you drinking sparkling water? Can we make sure that? The only one in there. Can we make sure we blur his number though? No, it's not. I just didn't want to get abused. Um, (laughs) Can we make sure we blur his number? Uh, Yeah, I'll. We'll just like in post. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I send him. Yeah, just come to the station and we'll sort you out and send this picture. (laughs) What did you send? Like a train station. No, I sent a selfie of four policemen. Oh, sick. <laughs> oh, I know. Just, just making it interesting. And yeah, then- the station will sort you out. That's such an obvious, that's such like a undercover fed photo as well. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so then he replied, oh shit, my bad. I ain't, I ain't even in Enfield, bro. <laughs> and then like later on that day, sends me another message. Like a, a few hours later, yeah. goes, if you get it from the lockup that you've confiscated, can I get it cheaper? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and then- that was on Monday, obviously. Yesterday, last night, he invites me to play eight ball. Oh. The iMessage. Is that, is that him saying he wants an eight ball? No, I think he's just like, oh, you're not going to arrest me. Let's play some games. <laughs> <laughs> do you actually really think he's actually a cop? Or do you reckon he, do you know who you are? How's he get, how I do don't get, know. Part of me does think he knows who I am. Just, yeah. Because yeah. he's there saying like, he's, he's not really reacting. But part of me is also thinking... It's a weird thing to say, hey, T, got your number from Mike. Yeah, yeah. Like, Mike's also a very obvious, like, fake name. Like, people always say, oh, Mike, Steve, you know. Yeah. That's my go-tos. Well, because I've had people that, before that pretend that, like, they don't. Oh, yeah. I have yeah. one guy that actually has been messaging me for, for he, years. He, yeah, I, know, I think I know this person. Well, you don't know the person. No, I know, I know from yeah. telling, yeah. Um, where is it? It's... He he was messaging me for so long. You know, like, when, you, when influencers post a picture of their text, right? And in the corner, it's, like, 400 messages. Yeah, like Jay, I know JJ has that. But like, how many do you have? I don't get that many. Am I just a? Fa- am I? Just, am I, I have. I have twenty eight. I have zero. But three or four of them are literally while we've been saying. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. So I normally have about twenty. My, my mental from who? Well, on WhatsApp, really on, on old text. on WhatsApp. On what, yeah, WhatsApp. I've got oh, there, text. Like, I've ignored. got eight. Yeah, like who, no, it says eight, but I have seven. I who messages on WhatsApp like that? Like, I have no contacts. I have no one in what like in business that I talk to on message, other than WhatsApp. 
Yeah. Like, who, I'm saying. Yeah, like, who, who, who's hitting you up? Like, I'm trying to remember where this guy is. He's been texting like, look, me. Look, look, I've got a text from O2. That's where I get messages from. <laughs> what are they saying? It's day three of our summer offers. I'm not reading that out, but still. Crazy. I can, just can't find where he texted him. I don't know what his last text was he sent me. You are probably pro- quite popular, you know, so. No, it's just he, he texts me like every every year on my birthday just to say Same happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. Nice. Oh, here you go. So the first text he sent me was August 2017. Yeah. And yeah, that's where it started with the whole, yo, man, you're on fire. Big up. You're the most honest and genuine br- uh, guy, bro. You work way too hard, bro. Yeah, bro. Good meeting you. Take it easy, safe. Aha. Uh-huh. Man's too drunk anyways. Did you reply? I replied and said, I don't have this number. Who is this? Sorry. <laughs> he replied, sorry, man, for that late night text. Ain't this Sean from this networking oh. event we met? Shit, man. So sorry if it isn't, but I'm sure you're a good person and hardworking too. My apologies. Wait, he texted you on your birthday. <laughs> no, that was all randomly but in then August. But then now he started doing your so birthday. That, well, three days later, he texts me and he's like, uh, blah, blah, blah. I assume this isn't Sean. Uh, apparently you're some sort of YouTuber. That's, <laughs> that's awesome, dude. <laughs> that's such a weird bait though. Because like, how yeah, can goes, you go from being that to, the, oh my God, wait, are you like, how, oh, it's so- He goes, since I found out, mate, your stuff is quality. Keep it up. Oh yeah, I have uh, subscribed. Have a great day. And then one month later, sends me my, yo, Simon, happy 25th birthday, buddy. Can't believe it's your birthday. Woo. 25? Yeah. Damn, bro. I know. Time flies. You've but the fact day. that he's messaged yeah. me a month after not knowing who I am, going, you're some sort of YouTuber to say like, you're the best YouTuber out there. <laughs> yeah, happy- yeah. He knows my birthday. <laughs> yeah, true, true. And then the next one was uh, 9th of September, a year later. Happy belated birthday. Damn, he's like, even he missed your birthday. He's not a true friend. I know. And then sent me one like three months later. Yo, you're right. And I literally replied at that point. I said, I rate the persistence. He said, ah, shit, you replied. Safe, man. <laughs> Respect. Having a good weekend so far? P.S. I have two tickets for Leeds, uh, <laughs> for Leeds in the Carabao Cup. Against who? I don't know. And I Leeds just put, Forest, you know? I literally just Pre-season. put, lol, who are you? And he put, wait, this is Simon, right? It seems like I'm just talking to myself, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is your visual oh, stand. Yeah. Careful. Those tickets are for Leicester City versus Leeds. Washed. Um, sends me a message five days later. Guess who's back? Lol, joking. <laughs> Guess who's yes, back. mate. Uh, sends me a message three days later. Damn, son, that undercover fan video. Three days later, my guy, best Christmas ever for you. <laughs> then, like, four months later, guess who's back? I need your help. Oh. And that's when I replied, like, seriously, you pretended like this was a random number. <laughs> yeah. He's like, haha, mate, I was just watching your video and I completely forgot I could just ask you to help. We have known each other for ages. Oh I mean, it's just a sticky God. situation. And then I didn't what? reply. Then like months later, after watching your latest video and your the last question, can't argue with you being down to earth, which definitely is. Seemed oh. like a right sound guy. Have a good evening. A few months later. Where did get your number from? Right. It's crazy part, right? He's, he's going to text you after tomorrow. He'll hear this. Probably. For sure, man. Yeah. And then a few months later after that, hey man, one question, go. Absolutely quality stuff. <laughs> Month later. Hey, I know it's a little early and you're, you're on your holiday, but happy birthday. <laughs> uh, eight days later. When's the engagement? In the marriage? We're getting there. Fuck me. Um, my invite hasn't arrived. Yeah, it's like, bro, I, just, just, I saw, saw like Randy on, on Instagram, like in a wedding suit, just wondering why, where mine is. 16th of September. I don't know what I, I don't know what I tweeted, but he it's said- crazy. It's your birthday soon. It's crazy. Actually, I wasn't going to talk about on that. He said, sorry for an early text, buddy. I just saw your tweet and sorry for your loss, man. Take it easy. I don't know what that was about. 16th Sorry for September this year. 2019. Did Doug die? Don't know. Sorry if it did. November. Uh, wish JJ the best of luck. Have a great time in LA. November. What? Hope you're right and recover from jet lag. <laughs> what um, <the> fuck? <laughs> Who says, I hope you're recovering from jet lag if you don't even know someone? <laughs> blah, blah. Hey, man, you're such a legend. Glad to have people like you around. Around? What does that mean? In life? <laughs> Another one three days later. Don't know if you were out and about in London, but are you safe? <laughs> 8th of December. Bro, you seen the news about Juice World? Whoa. What, what, what year were we in? 2019. I'm thinking this is like last week now. No. T- Wait, so COVID hasn't happened yet? No. What happens when COVID happens? Is that what you mean? Stay, stay safe? Uh, I don't know. There's some riots or something. Wishes me Chris- happy Christmas. Next one says like, hope you're good. Uh, keeping busy in quarantine. Do you not block this guy because it's quite funny to read? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I just like seeing how long this will last. <laughs> When's the last time you replied? Uh, that was the last one okay, nice. that I said. Yeah, yeah. 
Then he just, yeah, he literally just says like, happy birthday. Uh, Leicester are going to beat Leeds. Have a great new year. Oh, she's a Leicester fan. Yeah. Dear me. Happy birthday again. Leeds beat Leicester. So he's like, fuck. Um, <laughs> good luck for today's game. Congrats on 10 mil. <laughs> Holy shit. Congratulations to the both of you. I'm so uh, happy for you. Have an amazing weekend. Happy uh, 30th. And then October, this uh, the October just went. Yeah. Would you be interested in watching a Leeds game with me? And then 19th of April, fancy coming to a Leeds game on Tuesday. <laughs> I'm in the away end. Well, the good thing is next year you can go to a game, Leicester and Leeds in Championship. Yeah, hit I mean, me up. I mean, now, now's the time. <laughs> Let's go. I can't even block this guy. But it's actually quite interesting to read all this. It's, yeah, it's just like, it's, it's funny seeing how, because it's been so long, it's yeah, funny yeah, to yeah, see yeah. now. When it's like one message, I'm just like, yeah. This yeah, is and also like you get these on Insta as well, like message requests, but then like it's different because it's got your number. So it's like, how does that happen? And also yeah. the fact that he tried to play off as Sean. <laughs> I know. Ain't this Sean? <laughs> we met at a networking event. <laughs> networking event. By the yeah. way, so, you know, him messaging you a lot in, on your birthday got me thinking about your birthday. And um, you know what I put in chat the other day? What? I can't believe Harry Kane is younger than you. Yeah. That is so crazy to me. Why? Do you, do you guys know this? That, that feels weird. Right? He Why? Because he feels like the oldest guy ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he acts like an old man. Yeah, I know. There's and, loads and, of players like that. And, and he's just tweeted a picture of him in his 30th birthday cake. Like, bro, you're like... You're like what, so old. Like, have you got wait, how old are you? Cake? You're 20, I'm 29. 29. I'm about, I'm about to be 30, but I just I don't know. I just feel like Harry Kane's like so old. <laughs> how old is Bernardo Silva? Oh God, same age, I think. What, 28. No, I think he's. I think he's I younger. Think he's 29. I think he might be younger. Theo Walcott's probably about still 16. He's 20. Oh, you're older than Bernardo Silva. I know. Mean, mental. The worst part. But is, he is an old man. He is an old man. He's a, Harry Kane is like yeah. He just, he's just seemed like he's like 30 forever. Yeah. Whereas Bernardo Silva, nah, I would, I would, I would have guessed. Than Bernardo, Silva. N- Bernardo Silva has been 41 for nah, 10 years. I think you're thinking of like, he was used to he used to play with David Silva. So it's like, I saw Silva. Bro, look at him. Yeah, he just, I mean, he's small though. Yeah, he got a big beard. And Is guess. he also a boring person? He's not a boring nah, baller. He's, a, he's not. He's not really nah, no, I see your point. But it's crazy how like, we watch football players and they're like, they're all younger than us now. Yeah. Like, and they're also like, really good. <laughs> You know, they are football players. See, England women's won 6 1. Uh, China, China yeah, yeah, yeah. Six shit, man. Uh, uh, James, Lauren yeah. James. Well, they scored a banger and it was disallowed, right? No, I don't I didn't watch it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I just checked the score. I, 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 not that I wouldn't watch it, right? I'm We're talking about this. Yeah, I'm interested. To, JJ said something the other day. I, I like, I made a joke. We filmed a video, uh, that's out this coming weekend. Yeah. And I said a joke. I was like, oh, JJ, if you like, if you sell Prime and make, you know, like a billion. Yeah. Can you buy this car for me? As a joke. Yeah, like, it and, it's, easy, and it yeah. wasn't like a Lamborghini, by the way. It was... Probably Peugeot, no new. No. <laughs> new Peugeot dropped. Simon, who this? I don't know how much that car probably cost. What, what car was one, it? Yeah, the one I drove. Uh, we well, said it was a kit car, so I'm not sure. Oh, the car that you're yeah. talking about. Let me... I'm interested in how much it costs. I made a joke saying like, oh, like, when you, you know, when you have a billion, yeah. can you buy me that car? And it, and he, he literally said, oh man, just like, it's cool. Just wait for your birthday. Mad. And I was like, oh, firstly, he's not going to buy me. Like, you don't know that by the way. He's not. But he's the type of guy that would do that. If I, if I went to him like, oh, bro, can I just get, he would be pretty good at me. Yeah. He's that weird. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Well, he bought Ethan a birthday present. What did he get him? I don't know if I should say. Oh, I don't say. I don't, yeah, yeah. Some people but, are like, oh, you guys talk about JJ way too much. And sometimes we do. But also a lot of stuff we talk about is also public still, like on Sidecast. So you, you'll be yeah. like, oh, JJ said this on Sidecast. And someone's like, oh, I'm talking about JJ again. I'm like, where is It's our friend and also in another different podcast. Yeah. Between, I don't want to put it on the screen. Yeah. But between 40 and 70, depending which one you went to. You know, tell me what the car is. I can't know. Oh. It Can I know? Yeah, yeah, just drag it on. Oh. Yeah. Nice. I, I drove one of those. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 So you could get the, ex- the expensive one. Is it on video where we drive shit? No. All right. Actually, it's not this weekend's video. It's next weekend's. Ah. But yeah. Um, yeah, he just said that. And that made me think like, that's really interesting that he's... Because now I know that he has actually bought Ethan a birthday present. Mm. I'm like, mm. I feel like JJ's becoming this more, you know... Friendship based person. You know, yeah, I mean, listen, he's never not been in friendship. He just, he like, he does. He no, just, yeah, he's always been like a good friend. He thinks about I mean, what's in front of him. He didn't really, like, yeah. So, like, but that's where I thought that's really weird that, that he's, he's thinking like, ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's now gone. I've bought, like, he's bought Ethan a present, mm. which means he hasn't just gone. Because, I, I, no offense to him, 
his normal thing, which is good, but still, he would go, oh, here's some money. Yeah, true. Rather than thinking of something. Yeah. Yeah, true. Well, I mean, JJ, I did not remind you that my birthday was this year. <laughs> As it is every year, so. Mine's probably stuck in the post. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, but uh, what I will say... I forgot what it is. Would, nah. you, would you buy gifts for everyone if, if like JJ bought you a gift? I don't want would people to buy... start buying gifts for the other people? No, I don't <laughs> want him to buy me a gift. I don't either, yeah. Because I, I, I don't want to have to get him a gift. Not in a mean way. I just don't think anything I get him, he'll like. It's hard to buy for someone like him. Yeah. But you probably enjoy like a memorable thing, but like not an expensive thing either. If you could get something, if, if something really hits you that is memorable, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But... I just don't like the idea of like, okay, I've got to now get him something that's, firstly, he has way more money than all of us. Yeah, yeah. I can't match whatever he's going to spend all the time. Yeah. Secondly, when we do those Sidemen videos where people get cool stuff, most of the time he's like, yeah, I don't want it. <laughs> true, actually, I'm true. Like, what? True, yeah. You can match it in full fullness though. If you oh, you'll go to his house and it'll be outside if his I room. Could, if I can match it in thoughtfulness, yeah. yeah but yeah. if you have to sit there and really think about something, it's a lot harder. No, yeah, I get but it's you. fun if you actually think it's something good and he ends up loving it. You'll feel good about it. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, but then I'm I'm also a firm believer of like, if I think of something that someone will like, just, you don't have to wait till a birthday or Christmas or whatever. True, true, true. true. true yeah. You know my favorite thing? Yeah, it's Cat. It's Cat <laughs> of an outfit. It was actually boxing pretty well, you know. I don't really like Cat videos, but you know when you put that yeah. video of uh, him? Oh, actually, I was yeah. like, damn, it's actually fine back. The first 10 seconds of it, I was like, What's going on? This is awful because he's, he's standing up and the cat's just kind of doing like, this first like couple seconds. Yeah. This bit was good. This yeah, is, yeah, yeah. But before that, the video he sent us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't scroll think Scroll down, scroll down. Ah, 10,000 views on just KSI Shadowbox and his cat. <laughs> Craziness. Cat like reflex. Yeah, this bit. I was like, okay, but you're not really doing anything. This bit was like, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. On the cat's half, the half. Yeah, or both of them. I'm not looking at him. I'm just looking at the cat. Oh. I think it's kind of cool how it's like trying to take a swap at him. <laughs> but what I was going to say, I forgot. Um, you know, my favorite thing about being like a fan, right, is when they go, oh, I love watching Simon videos. I'm like, oh, cool, man. And they go like, um, the, oh, when's the next Simon Sunday? It's my favorite thing. <laughs> it's just like, I just look at him like, you, I'm you, guess. You, yeah, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> next Sunday. He's like, oh. Yeah, fair. Yeah. Uh, well, we were talking about boxing just for a second. Jake Paul, Nate Diaz this weekend. Did you see the clip of them? Doing the face-to-face. -face. No. So, I saw someone saying that Nate's not promoting it. So they're sat doing face-to-face -face and Jake's talking about Nate Diaz and he's like, you know, obviously he's a mad fighter. He's he's always going to put everything into it, blah, blah. And Nate Diaz is looking around, just, just casually looking around, puts his hand up one second and then he just gets up and walks out. Really? Yeah. But doesn't say anything. <laughs> he literally just gets up and walks out. I'm not going to lie. I look, look at him. I don't care about this fight, do you? I uh, I'll still watch it. Look, he puts his hand up for a second. I get like a kid at school. Jake's actually talking him up here, mm -hmm. saying like, you know, this is going to be a, an insane fight. He wants fight. to leave. He wants to leave, look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then he, he bottles it a second. And then he just walks out. <laughs> nice. It's, it's probably making Jake really mad though. It's pretty good man games. Yeah. Well, he's really good at promoting a fight normally. Yeah. And yeah. I think this one... He's just like, I'm just taking the bag. Yeah, fair, fair. So I think Jake's really pissed. I mean, I'm all about KSI Tommy Fury. That's the main fight now, right? Yeah. It's really interesting to see what happens in that one. Because obviously if JJ wins, then it's like, you just shout on Jake Paul. If he loses, God forbid, then that obviously- He has to fight Jake Paul at that lost. point. Yeah. yeah. But um, I, I was thinking that, um, I saw a podcast with uh, Nate Diaz and, and Bradley Martin. You see that one? And he's, yes. like, uh, he's like, oh, do you reckon you could beat me in a street fight? But this morning I got a TikTok of Bradley Martin talking to- he was talking to someone yeah. and he was literally there going, I know I couldn't beat him. Okay. I'm just doing it and right. getting clicks. Yeah, it makes sense. You see that guy taking a piss out of Bradley Martin on TikTok? So he's got the, no. he's got the face, like he's got the big like face expander. So it's making that like, really like massive cheekbones and stuff. And he's like, um, it's, it's Bradley Martin talking to a grandmaster at chess. Okay. And Bradley, Bradley well, can we, oh, I wish we could play it, man, with audio. Next time, the new set, we'll get like headphones so we can watch this shit. Because he goes, he's like, oh, do you reckon I can beat you in a street fight? No, he goes, you reckon I, talking to a chess pro, he's like, reckon I can beat you in a chess match? And the guy's like, no, like, not at all. He's like, ah, he's like, bro, what, me? He's like, oh, I'll beat you, man, I'll beat you, I'm, on, I'm unreal. And the guy's like, nah, you won't beat me. He's like, bro, I'm 260. Because like, uh, he was too strong. But uh, yeah, you have to watch it. But I promise you guys, it's really funny. I'm trying to think who he was, who he's talking to. I literally saw it today, but I can't. 
probably just like the guy on his podcast, right? Nelk. Uh, he's, 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 he's on Nelk podcast. No, nah, it was he had someone on that straight away. I was like, oh yeah, I recognize. But he then the person says like, oh, you also said that to Devin Haney, and mm-hmm. he was like, oh yeah, yeah, but I would fuck up Devin Haney. No, talking to Nate Diaz about Devin Haney, right? Um, he said he would beat him as well, but he's a boxer, so it's a bit different with boxers. But he's like Nate Diaz, is like an animal who just probably destroy him. Yeah, right. And Nate Diaz is a proper scrapper. Yeah, yeah. Didn't he, he's a guy who um, he beat Conor McGregor. They both had one fight on each yeah. other. I don't, I, well, I don't, can't remember if that was a trilogy now. But, but didn't he also like his guy who beat up um, Fake Logan Paul, right? Logan, yes. Logan Paul. Yeah, yeah, he's a proper street fighter. Logan Paul. Yeah, yeah. How um, come sometimes you can filter it by things that you've watched on TikTok? Yeah. You should go on settings. Yeah, but sometimes it's just not there. Maybe they change it depending on what day it is of the week. <laughs> yeah, I can't figure it out. But. It's okay. Anyway, speaking of jet lag. Yep. Um, when you go to Japan, did you, did you guys get jet lag? I think I was all right. How about you, John? Uh, on what, sorry? When you go when when we went when Japan. You to Japan, did you get jet lag? No. I think the only one who really suffered was Toby. Oh, I didn't go to that Japan. Sorry, I thought you were talking about going to Japan in general. Well, when you went to Japan. Yeah, no, 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 no matter when you went. No, no, no. But when I went, I think the only person that really suffered was Toby. Because okay. he was sleeping in the car. Like, we all had like a nap every now and then, but he so, was you, like... Did you sleep on a plane? Did you yeah. do the whole 13 hours on the plane to sleep? I probably slept like 10 or 11, yeah. <sighs> like, I, can't sleep, sleep, I can't sleep 10 hours at home. Let alone really? Play airplane. Yeah, but like, I know obviously like, America's like six hours difference. It's not bad. But I've, never been, like, I've never been that far away. Because the time difference is mental. Yeah. If you fly from Japan... Back home, you like miss a day, almost. But okay, I'll figure that out. I know I'm holding well, Japanese what... coin. Simon, give us some money, guys. I paid him off. Yeah, he's like, I know you're going to Japan. He's like, I know you like Pokemon. Here's some money. Do I buy Pokemon cards? Yeah. Thanks. For me. I'm going to buy you one <laughs> with this. Thanks, though. Uh, and then that's, well, that thing you're saying about like flying America and Japan. Yeah. That's what Speed did. Is that why I got a headache? Well, I don't know if that's the exact reason. Because uh, it's also a... <sighs> Eye infection, sinus infection, sinus apparently. infection, but also cluster headaches, yeah, bad, good. which are apparently really, really it's bad. Really bad, yeah. That's why his family flew over. That's what I heard on the street. Yeah, but he's okay, so. recovering. Well, he but, was in he was in Japan, then he flew over to Miami for the Miami game, mm-hmm. then he went up to New York for the Arsenal United game, mm-hmm. and then he flew straight back to Japan. Back to Japan, which is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. And I think, yeah, I think like if you fly back from Japan to America, that you literally arrive three hours later. Yeah. Which is mental. Imagine like having that long of a flight and you get back into the same time. Crazy shit, man. That's why that's why like jet lag is like people laugh at jet lag, but it's like when you go far enough, that's when it becomes a problem. Like I remember looks at uh Vegas, he was just finished. Well. Uh, also partying. I was gonna say we turned up a week late. <laughs> he had been there for a whole week. And <laughs> that's still the funniest thing gone right? out every night. It was his thirtieth, right? Yeah. So we like he wants to go to Vegas for his thirtieth, as we do. Or we, no, we, we also want to go for his thirtieth. And he's like, "Oh, can I bring my mates?" We're like, "Nah, <laughs> sorry, bro." <laughs> to be fair, like, <laughs> we had some trouble getting tables with, you know, ten guys, eleven guys, 12, whatever it was. Yeah, no. He then wanted to bring another seven people, eight people. It's just, it's, I know, it's just funny that it was it's like funny, his though, birthday. Yeah, yeah. Like, nah, sorry, mate. No, no one outside the troops can go. He's like, so, so fair play to him. Instead of him not taking them, he just flies them out a week yeah. earlier and just does his entire 30th of them. We arrive, he does it again. Bro <laughs> <laughs> almost died. He almost died a lot. Not, it's not a cancer joke. <laughs> it's not. He just died. It, it, no it, one thought it was. All right. <laughs> so I'd bring it up again. So What's this? You said with Japan, the time travel. This is a 19 hour flight from uh, LA, but it's only 13 minutes. Uh, if you fly from. Or if you go direct. Is that Australia to. actually make uh, New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand to LA. Di- you can... Direct, you actually make time. You can fly for 391 pounds, though. It's wow. amazing. That is. Could go and live there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's my brain at the minute. I'm like, I'm just gonna live in Australia. Oh yeah, Mr. Beast also is suing his fast food chain. Yeah, so this is because he got like bad ratings or they something. They refused to pay and also didn't like, also the quality was bad at a certain few restaurants. In the case, he, it has impacted the Mr. Beast brand, the quality of the food. Yeah. I do get it because obviously we have sides. You have sides, yeah. And if like, we have ghost kitchens. Yeah, if, and he did, right? Yeah. So if, if you get a bad meal mm-hmm. from our ghost kitchen, you'll blame us. Like yeah. p- we will actually get blamed directly. Someone will say, Vic Star, my meal was shit. This yeah. is your fault. True, actually, it is though. How? <laughs> <I'm just laughs> the ghost kitchens, we can't like 
we can't regulate the yeah but but you can quality, you can yeah. you can probably you can obviously do more work to pick the right ones into oh 100 so i think he went too fast i think he made like he went from like zero to like three thousand restaurants yeah. across america too quickly well we also like you know if one of them starts getting really bad ratings we'll yeah, yeah. We're like, we can't because also to be fair mcdonald's is a franchise business too right so they, like, each franchise each mcdonald's is its own company but obviously they have way stricter like policies like this is how you do things we'll provide all the materials whereas like, i guess the ghost kitchens probably will do that for themselves but They're i think ghost kitchens either oh did McDonald's aren't. No, 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 I'm not saying they are. I'm saying, but I'm saying like it's like similar in the sense that like each franchise is responsible for how good they are. Yeah. But then obviously McDonald's got so much strict rules that you have to do everything the way they do it. You just run the day to day. Yeah. Whereas Ghost Kitchen's probably a bit more involved in that in terms of like the source and other stuff. But he also said he hadn't got a dime from it. Like he hasn't yeah. been paid anything. They, and all, well, yeah. Is that because they withheld it or? But I think surely that's so. That was so long where he he had it up. He did, yeah. How has he not seen any money from it? Maybe what, what I would assume is what, what happened was they started really strongly. It was doing really well. Then in all the profit, all the profits, all the revenue that they, they got, went they back went into it. back into it, made more restaurants. And probably somewhere down the line, they started falling out, having disagreements. And then the, the company started probably withholding money to send it back to him. So then at some point he's like, well, fuck this. Then. It could also, if it goes straight into Mr. Beast's channel, it doesn't technically go to him. Yeah, true, true, but I think he would still consider that he has received money from it. Even though he's not had it personally, he's still gone into his ecosystem, yeah. Yeah. But interesting, though. Everything's interesting these days. Prime in America's everywhere, by the way. I mean, it's everywhere here. Yeah, actually, yeah, true. I went to Tesco and it was there. Yeah. Picked up and had, had some. Oh, Morrison's and it was there. Yeah, lovely. By the way, did you see that picture I put? I saw a Prime truck. Yeah. Was that Prime? That was, uh, Probably not. Yeah, because that's the same logo. Yeah, but there's it's, also... What is, if it had the exact uh, logo... Take Prime Inc. What is... Yeah. yeah. What is, but it's the same logo. Top left, Prime, top left, all that one, yeah. Right? That's Prime. Yeah, it's not far off. Come back, go back to the Google again, because you saw... Yeah, I mean, Prime. that is also, it's Prime Inc, so it doesn't... Yeah, but click that. Just click Prime Inc. But as in, like, in terms of... Um, yeah, I mean, it <laughs> go is to the, the website, because it's, it's the logo on the website as an actual... Look at that, bro, it's so similar. What the hell? Because I was yeah, like, well, there's a prime truck in prime. Different, there's such different sectors. Oh, of course, of course. I'm not saying, I'm not saying like it's coffee, but I'm like, that block text is very, I'm trying to get anyone in trouble here. <laughs> if anyone gets in trouble, I hope it's fucking prime ink. But I, I thought, I literally thought, I went to, to, to one of the supermarkets, bought some prime, drove back, on the way back, saw a prime truck. I'm like, what the hell? I can't get away from this. <laughs> what the hell? But it was, uh, obviously, yeah. I love prime. Same. You still one? haven't tried the lemonade one. It's in there. I know I've no I've got it at home. Oh, okay, I've good. literally, but I keep saying, "Oh, I'll film a quick." Oh short. yeah, I tried lemonade in your house actually. Yeah, I keep saying I'll I'll do it for um like a short, mm. and then I think oh, I just can't bother. So yeah. I have it, and I haven't had one since. I remember the days where I could just do a video trying one new prime flavor, like yeah, a million views. Nah, you need like two or three. I know, man. But the start, the start was a way bigger thing. Yeah, like a new flavor was unreal. Whereas now it's just on like, oh, well, it's not. It's better than that, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I've never been to Japan before. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I think you enjoy it. I think I will. I love Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the world championship of Pokemon. So oh, so there's more very, stuff. Yeah, yeah, there's more stuff there that's Pokemon based. I, I, I'm doing a break, so I can announce it now. Maybe I can put a link in the description. Can I do that? Yeah. I'm doing a break, box break. It's a base set box break, but a Japanese one. And so there's 60 packs, and they're all being given away for free. Damn. So yeah, yeah on the app, whatnot app. So I'll put my link in. And so how do I get one? You just gotta watch, go download the app, watch the stream, and just, you just click enter. And I'll oh, open so it. It's a raffle. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. yeah. But it's, it's only sixty packs. But like, I want to buy one. You I want to out one. buy everyone. Can't do that. I on, my stream, you, on my streams, you can buy some and whatnot. Yeah, when I, when I do it. Okay, but uh, it actually gets pretty crazy because people outbid. But anyway, on the free one, you just, it's a raffle. Yeah, you'll see like a little machine go duh, 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 and picture name out of it, and you get to join it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, so that's fun. I get Charizard. Yeah. Oh, and then if my team wins the box break, like pack battle, then I'm give. I have to give away. Well, I'm giving away. I shouldn't say have to. I'm giving away <laughs> part of my personal collection. Oh, some ace slabs. Damn. Yeah, yeah. That's fun. What did you do in Japan? You did like you did the we the filming, right? Yeah, we did the filming, which kind of like ruined it. No, <laughs> a little bit. It did actually. <laughs> no, I'm yeah, I think it. it but it, you went for filming though. It tainted my first reaction of Japan. That's your first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously I've never been there. I go there, and the first thing we have to do is just kind of go like 
All right, here's a robot restaurant. Yeah, and there's so much to do there, right? Yeah. So, I, I heard that like even if you just want to do Tokyo, you still need more than a week. But then no. also you want to do like really? I don't think so. Oh. I think I think you could do Tokyo in like four days. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But then you're, like like Kyoto and all that like Osaka and stuff, you have like yeah. trains to right? Yeah, yeah. So they, people say you want like a three week three week trip, but you guys don't do long trips anyway. No. That's why I first when I kind of like first started doing trips with you guys. When I, before like, YouTube, I used to go away for two weeks, but then now. When you do YouTube, I mean, not for me because I don't fucking post anything, but like you have to get ahead. So then you got your head to get ahead for two weeks, it's double the work and double the time, and then it's just long. Yeah. Oh, there I am. Nice. Yeah, cool. Cool little stream. <laughs> yeah, cool little stream. Oh. Can't believe this is my car. Wait, what? Max Bosch. I'm finally oh, studying oh. my famous red car. Here he is. Oh. Yeah. Well, he told us about this when he... So Max Fosch came on Sidecast yeah. and he told us that this is what he drove. Yeah. So has he now bought the other one? Don't think so. I think so what is the... But he's selling his car that he's used in all his videos. Oh, okay. Oh, the one that, oh okay, that one. The one that he, he always like plastered the logos on. There's, there's, yeah, there's a bit more going on for the car. I think so, what's it on? It's, yeah, it's, it's on eBay. I think Probably with, there's a link in there. There was a link. Was a link. Yeah, the problem with, with that though, the fake vids, like, people used to do them back in the day, right? JJ Comment on the right. Them. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, everyone just used to do fake bids. And yeah. It always ruined it. Yeah. Nick, you get got there eventually. Yeah. But don't forget to put H in front of it because you didn't copy the entire link. There's literally a button that says copy. Yeah. You'll get there one day. <laughs> this is actually painful to watch. Well, you right you right click to just press. It's, it doesn't work on this. Control yeah. It's control and V. It's a window. It's a, it's a this is, this is something yeah. special. This. This is unbelievable. It's just going on to bloody Google. Yeah, you can put H. You're not copying H. Oh. You have to put HTTP. Keep copying, copying TTP. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got it. I've got it. I've got yeah? it. Yeah? I've got it. Okay. 6,800 6, pounds. For a Volkswagen Up. I used wow. to know a friend who had a Volkswagen Up. Yeah? Cool car. Very small. Was it Max Fosh? No. Oh. It's actually my cousin. Oh. Not a friend. <laughs> I also would consider my friend a cousin. Wait. Your cousin a friend? Yes. He yeah. recently, Max Fosh being yeah. he, um, Heated up a microwave meal on a volcano. Unreal. I, I, you watched it. I didn't see it yet. I haven't seen it yet. But his he, videos are unreal, by the way. He told us he was going to do it on yeah. Sidecast. He was yeah. like, I'm just waiting for the right volcano. I was like, what a weird <laughs> sentence. Well, did you watch the one where he, um, this is an old one, I think. He made he, he made a fish. He made a fish. Yeah. He, he, he Well, the title is I made a fish out of um, supermarket caviar. No, I never watched that one, but, but I, I wanted to watch that. Well, I want to watch about. it. He, he does it. He does it. Yeah. He, grows, he has to go and get fish sperm squirt in, in there. Something that I have never done before. The fish. That's it's so weird. But like, what I like about his videos, right, is like you did, you got this like area of YouTube where they do these crazy ideas, but they're so overly produced. He just like walks around with an iPhone. Yeah. So his ideas are sick, but the execution is really simple, and they're always really nice and short. I don't feel like I'm investing so much time into it. Do you prefer watching like really highly produced videos or? Lowly, lowly, low, 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 low. I don't mind high quality ideas like this or yeah. like, you know, I cook a frozen meal, but if they're just like still fun to watch. Yeah. Sometimes people make it too like, I, 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 if I want to watch Netflix, I'll watch Netflix, you know, or I'll watch like a, a, a drama. If I want to watch something quick and fun, I'd rather just do that. Yeah, for sure. That's why I used to enjoy David Dobrik because he would have like really high end um, stuff going on, but just, just but he's it. literally just yeah. holding a camera. Casey Nasdaq as well. He, he, the way he told his story was really cool. It's like, you know, just a night, obviously that was really high end like vlogging style, but it wasn't, he just put a camera and then Con as well. Con does it pretty well. He just like sticks camera play in places. You know, that's what I, I want to see. But each to their own. That's just my opinion. But I also think like I, I know that we know people in our field. So I just say Calux. <laughs> who like I think sometimes he tries to make his videos too, hard too to. highly produced. When I'm like, bro, you're Calux. Like you're a goat. Just do your thing. I get that. But also, I'm not trying to dig at him. I'm just saying like, not, well, yeah. But, but this, this one was like a bit of a. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get what you're saying. It's like. You gotta believe in your own source that you don't need the production. You put a, a Reddit video out. Me? Yeah. Yeah. That's one point two mil. That's banged, right? That's what happens if I don't just do Reddit, 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 Reddit. Yeah, you gotta do anything. <laughs> play, play, go on videos. Let's see your recent videos. Damn, you're on fire. I've been posting. Given to two point five mil a month in life. Nice. Oh, you're smashing it. Yeah. What's the pitch one on? Uh, two point five as well. Let's go. I got another video coming out this Friday. Game show. I'm in that one. Yeah. I love game shows. I watch them, you know. Yeah. yeah I watch, even when I'm in them, I watch them. Really? Mm, they're really funny. They always start off slow. They're always like, yeah, I'll look yeah. overnight and it'll be like 300k. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's stunk. It's over. Yeah. The game uh, The game show's done. And then 
after a few weeks, it'll be like. But you're right. Yeah, if you post a normal video and it gets a bit higher, the next one will do better. Yeah. Like that, you know. I always watch game shows as well, even though I filmed them, because the edits always make them. So yeah, they're good edits. They're actually, really yeah. good edits. Adam Restrained. Shout out to Adam Restrained. Adam and Restrained. No, no, no. <laughs> actually, both legends. Adam Adam Pack's a legend, by the way. I can't believe he was my first editor. Yeah. That's so yeah, weird. He's been around but, forever. Yeah. Just a good guy, man. Rare to find. He but he edited a clip of me ages ago that's like, I said, oh, I want to run out into the road and pretend to be hit by a car. Mm -hmm. So he was like, okay. This is when he was just starting to do it yeah. as well. So like, he wanted a clip of me, I run out and then I have to like bend my body, like fling, you know, like a, almost like a curve. Yeah. And I sent him that footage thinking like, this can never be leaked. It's footage of me just walking into the road and going. Yeah. <laughs> And he ended up doing it and it was it was like okay now. Like, they're, they're my favorite type of videos because that was when like people were first discovering like After Effects and yeah. everyone would do them kind of things. Or they'd jump up and then fly off, jump yeah. down and smash, <laughs> yeah. you know. And everyone's like, damn, look at this. And I'm like, back in the day people believe it as well. Yeah. Look, look, look at his YouTube clip. This guy's got hit by a car. <laughs> and now people like Zach, what's his name? Um, also? No, no, no. It's um, like, oh, I, can't, I can't remember his name. The guy on, he does like insane edits. Oh, you're talking about... Um, I don't know his name. The Vine oh, guy. The Vine yeah, guy. Zach, yeah. right? Zach, Zach King, King that's, that's one. Zach King, yeah. He just, and I'm watching this stuff, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know how he did that. And yeah. also, he's so good at that, I don't care either. Like, sometimes, well, he's so good at it, sometimes he shows you how he does it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Does, you don't understand. Yeah. Like this. He's going to jump in there. He look, look, what the fuck? <laughs> it's just, that's so weird. Whereas the ones where you get hit by a car and stuff, I'm like, okay, I can probably figure out how to do that one. This one, I'm like, I, I can never do that. So I, I, it's nice to know that. I can't like, I, can, I know how he's doing it. Look but at I looking at this like he's a real film filmmaker. <laughs> <laughs> like I know how he's doing it. I just couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you? Well, then explain to me how he's doing it. Well, it's always just like what, VFX. Pause at the right time yeah, yeah, and then yeah. replace it, etc. Yeah, no, no. Have you seen Oppenheimer? No. Or Bobby? No. I haven't been to the cinema in. No, you're like, living life. You got a life to live. I just haven't been in ages, and no. I want to see Talk to Me. Yeah, Rack Racker. Yes. yes. It's it doing got, well. Yeah, it's done amazing. Yeah, it's doing well. 10 I was trying to figure out, so Freezy put in the chat. Yeah, he never replied to you. No, but <laughs> did you understand what I was asking? I understand what you were asking, but I didn't understand what, no, actually I didn't. I didn't, I didn't really understand what he meant either. So I said like, oh, it's done 10 mil first weekend. Yeah. And he put, meanwhile, Oppenheim has done 82 mil with in like a, a like a confused face, like a, hmm. And I was like, are you trying to say that the numbers are inflated on which side, or are you saying that? I think maybe he was saying that like 10 mil is not that much considering Oppenheimer's doing 82 million a day, but also it's an indie film, right? So it's like- Well, it's also a horror film, which don't- no, but, but I know he's back in, he enjoys this film though. So he, must, he wasn't talking shit. Yeah. So talking. that's why I'm like so baffled what he's talking about. We need to get about. on here, by the way. It's been so long. Yeah. I don't know why we're we'll getting on. Cause, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, 84 purchased it, I think if in, the, in their video for like five mil, right? So at that point, you know, they've already doubled their- yeah. It's the, the second thing. second highest A24 uh, debut horror film. That's, that's huge. Yeah. That is huge. Oh yeah, this- The like, boys can really shoot, man. And the Sidemen are in it. Yeah, Sidemen are in it. Gang, gang. Yeah, the rich yeah. get richer. I've completely forgot. So oh, yeah, because you approved it, right? Yeah, and everyone, ages ago, yeah, I was talking yeah. to Danny and Michael and they were just like, yeah, so basically there's this one little clip where someone, like a kid's watching YouTube and we thought it'd be a really nice touch mm -hmm. if we could just have a Sidemen video. Yeah. So it's not really in there. Which it's Sidemen just, video was it? Their one? Uh, it's one of the game shows. Ah, okay. Like, was, it, was it Countdown? No. <laughs> it was, right? <laughs> we, we did an original Countdown. <laughs> uh, it was, I can't remember what it was. I think it was uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, like the original one. Mm. But um, yeah, they say like, oh, I'd be sick if we could get that. Yeah. Can we can we speak to your team and sign you it off, yes. blah, blah. And I was like, bro, yeah, just like you can do it. And they were like, can you sign this then? So I signed it. This was about two years ago, mm -hmm. a year and a half ago. And then Josh or Ethan, one of them like got a tweet saying like, saw the Sidemen in the film. Yeah. It was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh yeah. I forgot. By the way, guys, sorry, I signed this. <laughs> just forgot <laughs> to tell everyone. No, nah, but- they're not gonna care. No, like, no one cares. I mean, it's, it's good that you guys are in it. Yeah. You know, the other day, we were talking on here about your Blue Water shop. Yeah. And we did a clip and it, the clip went out on like YouTube and that. And everyone in the comments was like, oh, Randy's just so salty and so jealous. You are? Am I? I don't know. What was? What did you say? I, I, I was just like, <laughs> oh, you guys got, I was like, oh, you got, you guys got a shop. That's sick though. I was like, it's crazy how you're doing that. Do you think, did you think you'd ever have a shop? I don't think I'll say anything, but then everyone's like, yeah. Sounds pretty silly. No, he's no, trying to shit now. <laughs> on a real though, on a real. That's crazy. That we have a shop or that no, you're that, salty? Uh, say I'm jealous. Oh, you are pretty jealous. Do I sound, 
Fuck off. <laughs> now. <laughs> oh, now I'm not. No. I'm not jealous at all. Really? Oh, you're twice. <laughs> are, you, are you more envious than jealous? No, I don't give a fuck, man. If I. Uh, no. Of you guys shutting down. Okay. This is YouTube, so the comments are really nice on this one. Actually, go in the comments. Let's see what they say. Um, it's TikTok. It's time it is not safe. Because every platform is different, by the way. Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all the comments are different. It's crazy how like that happens. Yeah. Someone said that we did say we were going to be there. What the hell? Also, I said in a video. Yeah. This is just completely random, but I, I thought of it. Um, I, w I was talking about how I never got a match ball from the charity matches. Yeah. Because we've played four. Yeah. And I've got a hat trick in three. Yeah. And I was like, when you get a hat trick, you get to keep the match ball. You do, yeah. So in my, one of my videos, I was like, oh, I never got a match ball. I never got one. Because last year, after the match, I can't remember who it was, but someone came around and was like, oh, can you sign my shirt? And they asked every player to sign this shirt. And I was yeah. like, that's a fucking sick idea. But I've left it too late now. I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. Then I thought, oh, I should have done this every year I got a match ball. True. Wait a second. I never got a match ball. Turns out I did the first year. Okay. I kept the match ball. Okay. But I realized someone was like, you did get it. You did get it. And I thought, well, then why don't I have it? Yeah. And I know why I don't have it. We filmed the football video and we did a penalty where it's a golf club. Oh, like no. you hit it with a golf club. Oh. And we all said to, uh, it was Ethan. He goes, we go, bro, just tap it. Just, okay, just tap, don't lose this ball. And he just whacks it. It goes over the fence. We never see it again. Interesting that actually I managed to hit that one. <laughs> it's a big ball, bro. Right. <laughs> but I was so angry. I was like, I, this is why I didn't want him to use this football. Yeah, and she's Give him a ball. cheap football. You, yeah, you never it. seen it. That's, that's the match ball. That's the match ball. How would you do a video with the match ball? Because you didn't have another football. Okay, yeah, man, mad, madness. Yeah. Well, I think the other one already got kicked over. We had one other football. In it. Okay, it was, okay. Yeah. I don't remember what it was. It was like, no, it was in, it was at the Sidemen house. I think it was the, I don't know what it was. It might've been on Harry's channel or something. I think it was a Sidemen video. Well, just keep this one. Just get a hat trick in this one and keep it. Like, make, make, make it a goal this time. To, keep, to, keep <laughs> to, get, to get a hat trick no, 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 and then like, keep the no, ball. You will get a hat trick. But then make sure, <laughs> I don't think I will. This year I've decided all I want to do is showboat. No, but then what happens? What happens is you're losing three 0 You're like, okay, I got to score now. If we're if we're losing, then yes, the I will the try. And... They announced, yeah. I don't think so. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Someone was. Uh, oh no, JJ, sorry, you can't yeah. this, but JJ was talking in his thing about. Yeah, but that's not out that's not until one, the okay. until the game. Sorry, yeah. But now, by the way, now I sound really jealous because now I'm I'm doing that thing where I'm like I don't care. It's what fine if think. you are jealous, bro. But now, but now I'm doing that thing where I'm like oh no I don't care and then. Because I'm saying I don't care. It looks, looks, looks like I care. It's okay if you're jealous, though. Like, we are sick. And you're I know, not. I know. I, I know you're sick. <laughs> Shop? Yeah. No. I mean, obviously, yeah. Obviously, <laughs> uh, if, you, know, you drop, drop like a million pounds. Yeah. Yeah. But like, not like, um, I'm not, not jealous of you guys. I always used to be Yeah, like, this. This moment, right? So we all now, said to him. Now it's not so close. Wait, oh, go, back, oh. go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about one of the so penalty look, shooters. So look what we have to do. We have to score in that goal. Yeah. Okay. Is that signed? Did you get it signed? No. So we have to score in that goal. So it's just a tap. So yeah, so he look how little effort he put in, right? And then my go. Realistically, I was like, fuck it, do a hockey one. Because yep. the whole point is... Score it. Oh, that was yeah, dreadful. Yeah, I, I know. But then look. <laughs> Bro took an actual swing. That's a great video, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, I don't know why we one didn't use best, that football. One of the best videos. Yeah, true. Yeah. Nice. I knew, yeah, I thought it was Harry's. How many, that's on like 50 million, isn't it? It's a great video. 54 million views. So funny. What? Yeah. Pre order the Have you now. never looked at Harry's channel? I oh, know, I've looked at his go, channel. Go on, it ain't got most viewed. Jeez, Vic, what the banger. Yeah, Harry's channel is disgusting. 76, 72, 71. Like, he 70. has more highly viewed videos than Sidemen. Yeah. And by the way, look at all the eight years ago, six years ago. Bro, look, impossible try not to laugh vine challenge six years ago. 43 million <laughs> views. These are all the demonetized ones. Or did you get rid A of lot of them, they're not demonetized, they're copyrighted. He, he's just so good at making videos though. Like he's just so good at it. Yeah. He just knows how, like, I mean, go on Theo's channel. Bro, oh. look, Sidemen trampoline challenges. We yeah. went to a trampoline park and he made a five minute vlog and it's on 40 million views. Sick <laughs> of movie vibes. Go on to, um, go on Theo Baker. Cause uh, Harry edited Theo's Mbappe and Neymar video. Yeah. And like, you think, oh, that's a crazy thing to do. But then when you, when you look, you think of that, how big that video is. Yeah, 7.8 mil look. 
It's instantly his biggest video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he must be killing himself. It's not eight minutes. Yeah. And Harry would have been. I reckon if Theo got it edited with his edit, it's probably gonna get eight minutes. But oh, Harry 100%. made it seven, but probably you know. Yeah. And I'm not saying obviously it got that many views because Theo's sick and also. And if I was Theo, I would have just put in like, put in something at the end just to make it eight minutes. I know Harry, Harry would be like, nah, man, it's perfect as it is. Yeah. It has to be this. Like, it has yeah. to be. Harry you know. makes it in an art form. Yeah, yeah. But, but I was thinking, that, is, is that though? Like, Harry for his friend just editing it for him. Not because he wants, cause he wants <laughs> Not to be a good video. he's a nice friend because he's like, you're going to fucking ruin Yeah, you're going to ruin the video. <laughs> I'm going to do this for you. And the fans are like, Harry, can you post on your channel? He's like, no, nah, I'm going to edit Theo's video. <laughs> but J- JJ's similar to this as well. And to be fair, you are as well. You guys, you guys know how to edit, you know. I, I, I can edit too. In a sense, Harry takes a lot more time pre, pre-edit. Like he sets it out yeah, for yeah, the yeah, edit. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I see, used to spend like weeks. Oh yeah, yeah. There's one time when I was at your house. You know when I was shooting for you, you and him. Sometimes yeah. I was in that room. He was like, "Oh, can I just can I can I borrow the PC for a bit?" I'm like, "Why?" He's like, "I want to edit my video." And he made a video, a FIFA video, and edited it himself. This is like when he's like, "Is not that long ago?" Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, sure, man." He just did editing. I'm like, "What the fuck's wrong with you?" Why didn't he edit on his PC? I don't know. I don't know. I think it, it didn't have like Vegas. It had to, it's in still Vegas on mine because I think G used to edit on that one. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> I was like, sorry, bro. Yeah, I'll get out. <laughs> That's so weird. I was just having a wank playing Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, sure, man. Do your thing. I guess you can work. Um, but now I'm quite warm. Are you warm? No. Damn it. <laughs> All the things I've seen in the news recently. Yeah. What did I see? Oh, uh, Guinness World Book of Records. Yeah. The, striking channels. Striking yeah. channels. Yeah, that's... I saw Preston said his channel almost got deleted. Laser beams. Laser as well. beam as well. Yeah. Mr. B start changing his thumbnails. Lucky we don't have any. Yeah. I never I never made a gen- gen- So it, but they they were doing some for the logo. So like on the thumbnail yeah. you can't have the logo. But some of them they were saying that if you just have world records in the title. I think L- Laser Beams one. Wow. Laser Beams one was like breaking uh, four Fortnite world records. Look that one. I carried yeah. a Fortnite mobile world record holder. Oh, so it wasn't even Guinness. No, it was. Oh. But as in you can't have world record in your title. Goodness me. I thought they were like a. I always thought they were a good company that used to enjoy like. Well, they comment on our videos. <laughs> they literally they, comment they on. They probably comment to bookmark it to then strike. <laughs> True, but they comment on some videos that are just like, "Oh, we'd love to, like, we'd love for you to get a real world record or something like that." It could be a mistake because I know that. I think it's a new new member of the team. Yeah. That's like added something that's starting to find these videos on and, Instagram. All the Pokemon accounts, like fan made accounts that had a Poke in their name, Pokeran survived because I think they thought it was Poker and, um, but all the Poke accounts got deleted. Mad. Like literally, bit the, the big, like Poker Rev, like people with hundred thousands of followers deleted, and then they got them fixed now. And apparently, it was bots. Like they, they they got a trademark bot to go out and get rid of all the Pokemon stuff, but they didn't mean to do that. It was just the bot that did it. So it could be a similar thing with Guinness, because obviously all these all these content moderation systems are automated, right? Yeah. It's like content ID and stuff. So sometimes you can get claimed, and it's not even your fault. Yeah, yeah. I know JJ, like, like the whole remember JJ and PewDiePie thing. PewDiePie's like, oh, you claim my video. And he's like, no, I didn't claim your video. Yeah, and yeah. they got it undone. It's not my fault. It's a label who go and do that stuff. And, you know, the old fashioned way of, of music people doing that. But yeah, we definitely need to change a few, t- a few videos. Yeah. We were actually going to do this video again, you know. Oh, no. We have it scheduled in for like three, four weeks' time. Damn. As in oh, to record for yeah. Sidemen Break World Records too. Mad. But we were going to go like much bigger. But now we're just like, do we even bother? Did Might you, be what, not did you have risk. them there when you did that video? No. Oh, okay. So Do Perfect did. They did a one with Ron McElroy, a golf video, where they had the adjudicator there. And how's that work though? Because they do like crazy st- ones. Yeah. So this is this is where I like I'm kind of skeptical of the world record stuff because they normally say, okay, here's your world record. You're gonna kick a football into onto the crossbar from the furthest distance. Yeah. They normally say you have like three attempts right. or five attempts, and you have to do this distance. But I'm like, there's a lot of them which they won't do it in time for a video. Yeah. You so actually only get the three. Especially the next to them. Yeah. And like, is it an actor? Or maybe or, they pink. No, I think when they when they get like a video like that, I think they say like, we'll give you, you know, we'll give you like two hours. Okay. The guy will stand there and if you manage to do it, you can have it. Yeah, okay. Because they said, uh, I swear that video where they did the world record, there's a basketball one. They do, they get like, uh, go down. It was like an old school basketball world record thing. I can't remember which one it is, but like Boomer, no, not that. They're a great channel though. They make great content. Great, great videos. Yeah. But yeah, I'm like, there's no way that they've actually managed to break all these world records in like three attempts. Yeah. The, the Royal one was sick though, because he was, he was teeing off. So it's like the most pause in like uh, six minutes or something. So Roy would sit uh, on the tee, just hitting onto the green and then they would 
put do two puts. So it's a team effort. So the three of them, Rory tees off, they put, and the other guy finishes it off. And they just Mad. keep going and going and going. It just seems That's fun to it. do that. Yeah. yeah. And like Rory did like the longest drive with a putter, but he hits his ball so far anyway. Yeah. So with a putter, you can do that. That was a pretty easy one. Yeah, it's just a sick video. Well, I told you about the, we've spoken about it on here, the most penalties scored in. Yes. Yeah. I want to do that, but yeah. it's just ridiculous now. Well, they, no, they did it in a similar way. So, for example, they're trying to do the most puts in 30 seconds. They, they're putting the ball to him. So they yeah, hold the ball. The he amount, hits it, hits the, it, hits the it. one I saw, not possible. But can't you can't you just have like three people next to you putting the ball down? For 20, in. in 24 hours, yeah, it's one every 10 seconds with, do that. with no break. So John For said, 24 hours. John stands, yeah, obviously it's it, like really hard, but like John sits there and gives you the ball every time. Doesn't there's, matter. There's no setup. No, he wouldn't be able to... Take a piss or I wouldn't be able to kick a ball every 10 seconds for 24 hours. You, you'd hurt yourself. No, 24 hours non-stop. I know, you'd, I know, yeah, but like, sounds hard anyway, right? Huh? It's pos- I'm saying it's hard, but like, it's possible. I don't, I don't think it is. I don't personally believe that record is real. Wait, which one? The penalties one? Most pen- yeah, most penalties scored in 24 hours. Because think about it, right? Six a minute. It's, you just, need- it's just taken, not scored. Scored. And you just have a keeper, right? So there is a keeper, but the keeper is just going to stand at, just stand still. The video you showed me, it doesn't look like... Look like well, think, think about like what... Yeah, 7,800 penalties. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you'd die. You'd probably it die. It does take taken, but... I mean, you could, you could still piss. You just have to piss while you're doing it. There's no way. You can you cannot, you cannot shit for 24 hours. You can hold that in. I can, definitely, I can definitely not shit for 24 hours. You can eat while you're doing it. You can drink while you're doing it. You can piss while you're doing it. Yeah, 1,440 minutes. It is crazy. So times that by 60. Times 1,440 by 60. You know you can just type into Google. Yeah, but then I'm typing. I'll get the piss taken. You just True. don't, you brought your phone worse out now, to yeah. type <laughs> it. It's okay, Nick, we'll wait. What about like most consecutive goals from the halfway line? 14, 40 times. Most crossbars, most crossbars in a row. That's how many? 6,000. Yeah, so then divide that by whatever the number was. 7,000 something, something. By the way, we looked at most consecutive crossbars and it was only four. That's that's ridiculous. For, for a video title though, like I... Yeah, I'm not sure. Five in a row. Well, I, I only got two ideation on that quiz, by the way, so I can't... 10.9. Yeah, so at 10.9 seconds you have to score every single penalty. Yeah. I've... So if you wanted to go pee, let's say that takes one minute fully. You pee on yourself. Where's that? Where where nappy? Okay, so then you're taking one every ten seconds. Yeah. Do you think your legs could do that for twenty four hours straight? Mine, no. But you're a strapping young man. <laughs> I'm older than Harry Kane. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> actually, that's actually embarrassing. It's five, it's five and a half penalties a minute. Yeah, but we can do this. We can so do this you could do that a bunch, and then have a short break. But twenty four hours of that, it's not possible. Yeah, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I'm agreeing with you. I'm just saying, like, you know. Yeah, there's no way. It'd be, more, it'd be more fun trying to do the crossbars one, I think. Like, how about do it in an hour then? I, I you know, I that, br- that making of the world record, that YouTube video right there. Surely there's like a montage, time lapse. Yeah. Wait, is she is the goalkeeper giving the ball back? Yeah, you don't have to score. They just got to get them back. Is that like breaks in this or something? Yeah, they're just chatting. And like that keeper was scrambling. She was like getting the ball out of the net, you know. Look, that's Is it different there's, people? There's no way. Not that pace. Was it and as well, was it with different people? I need to know. I need to Yeah, there was different people taking penalties. Because if you take ten in a minute, you get a minute break. So you do that for ten minutes, you get a ten minute break. Ramen faced twenty four goalkeepers made up of members from the Tekka's players, their mums, the Arabian Celts, Gaelic football team and friends to clinch a title. And although the fatigue was a factor on the day, it didn't stop Rahman from achieving her goal. She started on the November 17th at 7am and ended at 7am the next day. On reflection, I guess it was difficult at times as the fatigue set in and my shots got weaker. There was a hot period in the day, which was a bit draining, but thankfully it was cloudy for the most daylight hours. I always knew I was going to complete the 24 hours. It was just a matter of setting small goals and ticking off each hour as it went by. The record enforces our message of opportunity, equality and respect. Nothing more, nothing less. And for me, I always feel action speaks louder than words. It's a, it sounds like it was just her. But it also sounds like she wasn't like... Okay, one... I don't know. Okay, okay hold on. Let's, let's play this game. All right. I'm going to count 10 seconds. One... Kick. Two. 
Keeper Three, gets the ball. Four. Throws it back to me. Five. I put it down. Six. I could take seven, another one. So I could do like half. Yeah, I could, could do two in the time. You could, yeah. And, and if you but do that, like we said, like if someone picks the ball out of the net, that's not the keeper, and someone gives you another ball, that is even faster. All you got to do is kick, 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 kick. Yeah. But but also that is accurate. Yeah. But then, don't you think, then if you could do like... I mean, if it was easy, it wouldn't be a world record. Yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. But if you could do an hour of that, you could probably slow down for the next hour. True. You could, you, you could do, like, I reckon you could do, like, you could do five in 10 seconds if you've got more balls. And then, later on, you just start doing, like, one every 20 seconds. True. Yeah. I don't know. We're cooking now. Boys, hours. we're cooking now. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe we go for some really intense hours at a time, yeah, like an hour at a time, yeah. really go for it. And yeah, I guess you need, to get a, you need to get a world record official yeah. to yeah. be like, okay, well, this is what rules. you can do, this is what you can't do. Because could I literally pay, I could pay... I don't know, you for one hour, all you're doing is, and I pay you for one hour, you stand to the side of the goal and you pass the ball to Randy. Randy puts yeah. the ball down for me yeah. and I do that for one hour. Then I pay another two people to do the next hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're kicking it in. Is that allowed? Or does it have to be between two people or something? You know let, what I mean? Let, let's check with the world record officials. And I'm yeah. not saying the word because we might get banned. I don't think you get banned for no, saying. <laughs> um, also, but that, what you could do, like I beat, you could do I beat, 24 world records in 24 hours and you do like ones that take half an hour but you do d different ones of them that's probably a better video yeah, I'm not going to be able to beat them you can find easy ones the golf ones that they find they find really obscure ones like you know the most puts in 6 feet within 30 seconds so they, they use words that's like it's, it's not the most puts in 5 feet in 30 seconds yeah so you can you know the, the most penalty scored with you know orange boots on <laughs> <laughs> this type of shit you know yeah <laughs> people haven't done that Probably have orange is quite a popular boot color, but you know, yeah. Half can, can say yeah now, yeah, yeah. So you can say things. When it's just say yeah to it. Like, do you want to go outside? Yeah. Do you hate Randolph? Yeah, yeah. She'll say yeah, <laughs> yeah. Damn. Um. Do we have anything else this week? What else do we have? Wait. Uh. I'm just thinking. Um, what, what was that title there? Go down a little wait, bit. Wait. I... AI related stuff to get Randy stiff. Yeah. AI stuff definitely gets you stiff. I like AI as much as anyone likes AI. No. I'm sure I'm, sure I'm the first one. I think we like. Do one. you think that me and you like AI the same amount? No. <laughs> 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 I don't think it makes me stiff. And a robotic apple picker, picker. It's not AI though. It's just robotics. Yeah, but it's using AI to pick, pick, pick out the uh, apples. Okay. Okay. Cool. This oh, this so kind of stuff won't get him stiff. He has to be able to have a conversation with it. Yeah, I want to talk to it. I want to oh, ask well, it how its day has been. That's last on the list. The Unreal Engine Five stuff. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, is this the is this the war game? The war game. Josh was saying the that there's a game in World War Two to target. I thought this was inter interesting to discuss because this is mad. The, the way they train AI, yeah, that's from like 1940. No, but I know, but this is how they train AI, right? Oh. To target things using pigeons. Yeah, because it has feedback of like if the AI is targeting things correctly. The way they taught this pigeon how to shoot down aircraft carriers. That's mad. Is, is, is similar to the way a pigeon to watch, shoot watch, down. Watch, so there's this dot on the screen, right? And every yeah, time it hits the dot. It, it gets food, like they close the little shower and it gets food. And then they make a little wider window and it always has to peck the center, right? And then at the end, they had a system where the, it would see for a sight and that's where the, the plane would shoot. And then look, at the very end, look, see he's actually picking out a ship. That's sick. So they taught pigeons to <laughs> shoot ships. But you know crows are really that's smart, nuts. right? Is it crows or is it magpies? Yeah, look, 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 look that's it. Look, it's picking the ship. That's it's jokes. Out of where everything on there, it's picking the ship. That's jokes. Okay, but well what's it doing to a ship? Blowing well, it up. No, it's, it's the, what, that sensor on that screen is where they're actually targeting. So it will fire That's where on the that. gun goes. It's picking the target. But what gun? Missiles. Uh, from a, on the plane. A, from a, a fighter jet. Wait, I'm confused. What? So, so the, a fighter jet is going to shoot a yacht. Well, not a yacht, sorry, a, a navy a ship. Yeah. A so the, the pigeon is telling the bomb where to shoot. It's directing the thing where to shoot. Oh, okay. So what, what, what we're saying is this, this pigeon is better than me at Valorant. But what, why could someone not just go, that's the boat? Because they're busy like running around, shooting guns. Yeah, the pigeon probably has better, like faster. Also, they cost less money. And then also, you're not you put in person in a plane who doesn't need to be there. Yeah. I True. Rather, there's the saying that pigeons are less worthy than humans. I think we should call Peter. But this also positive feedback is the way <laughs> that they would train an AI to do the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like loads of numbers and shit. Like, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And then like on a massive scale. What I was going to say was that uh, Josh was mentioning some game with a new engine that's like... I'm really engine five. Yeah, that's but it's that, like that's that. it's like a war game. Uh, scroll up. It's that. 
this is what this guy's doing. So no, so this is the one where the AI will talk to you and you actually can have a whole Sick. conversation with them. Sick but there was one that's like a war game that the sounds are like so realistic that- You think you're there? Yeah, and it no. actually like pans. Uh, so if I put my head out of the bunker, the sound will get super loud nah. and you'll actually sound like you're in a war. Yeah, sick. I don't know sick. if it is that. I mean, even Football Manager would be dope with um, AI because like, you, you know, your interviews and post game and stuff, they can be real now. Like, yeah, true. Rather than being like, you know, clicking predetermined answers, you can actually have a conversation with the, the reporters. What is this? I'm like, fuck you reporters. Oh, I'm storming out. No, there's some like, some like war game that's actually going viral. Right Unreal Engine is unreal though. Nice. Thanks. Wait, wait, I was waiting <laughs> for a response. Just, okay. Um, you, you played Modern Warfare 2, so it was shit. Did I, I miss this? What, is it just come out again? What happened? They remastered it. Did they? Or did remastered it? Made, made it just, no, they just reloaded the servers. Oh, no. Or they just reworked. It's not good. I, I it's not the right good. Word. Nah, it was, like it was kind of fun, but you realize how like jank it is. Yeah, because well, we've had such better cards like, yeah. in terms of quality. So as much as you can go like, oh, you know, this is so nostalgic. You, I played it personally. I played it two, three games and was like, yeah, it's not. And back at the end of the day, everyone had noob tubes and you just get like blown up. Now you'd be frustrated, but back in the day it was kind of fun because no one yeah. cared. Like, oh no, I died. Whereas but like now you're like, oh. Like, it wasn't even go, that. It's push my cat. It's, you remember, the memories of it are better than it is. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. So now I can play a new COD and the COD is actually just so much better than it because yeah. of all the graphics, yeah, my, the set, everything. My memory of uh, FIFA 2003 was unreal. Go back now and I'm, you can only move in triangles. Yeah. You can't, yeah. it's like the worst game ever. But at the time, um, I, used, I used to remember, I used to leave my career mode on. This is before you could save games and stuff. Or I, I didn't have a memory card. So like, I used to go to school and put, put like a football shirt over my PS. <laughs> so my mum didn't see it and turn it off. I came home under my shirt. It's like, the, the PS is like, yeah, boiling. Yeah, yeah, it's like about to take off. I'm like, oh my God, I almost burnt the house down. I also, I don't know if I've told this story before. I, I used to play Sims a lot and used to love it. I used to play all the different Sims on, my, on the Xbox and stuff. Went to Blockbuster to go and get a DVD with my friend. And we, we saw Playboy game. I didn't know what Playboy was at the time. But on the back, it looked like Sims. So I was like, mum, can I get this game? She's like, no. I'm like, what the, mum, what the fuck? She used to buy me all the games. Yeah. So I was like, why can't I get this one? She's like, no, nah, you can't get that one. I'm like, mum, look at it. It's just Sims, man. It's just Sims, you know? And look, look I know it's a game now where it's, you're probably just going to fucking each other. <laughs> so cheers, mum. How is uh, how's AI going to affect the Sims? They'll just stop listening to you. <laughs> we are, we are, the, we are, and then we are the Sims now. We we play the game. We're like, Dan, this is us. We look up, and there's a guy with his hand there picking us up. So they can talk back <laughs> to you, but you can now you could also probably trap them in the room and like people used to do. But like, yeah, but it'd be actual it. suffering. Stop, stop. It'd be actual suffering now. <laughs> they're like, my God, stop, <laughs> Andrew, please, <laughs> please don't do this. Oh, You're no. better than this. If I was playing Sims and knew AI, I would not call myself Andrew. I call myself like Mortimus. <laughs> you know, God. Um, Playboy, but it's a horrible PS2 game. Is this it? This is, it. <laughs> this is what I wanted to play? <laughs> Damn. Which is where I'll go back. Why has the door just got boob on it? Does it say boob? I think it does. Why does it just say boob? I think they probably wrote it. <laughs> All right. But it literally is a Sims. Yeah. Right? So you can see why I thought this was a good game to play and yeah. not like explicit. Good instinct. <laughs> you know what game I played once when I was younger? Yeah. It was, it's called like beach volleyball or something like that. Oh, oh sounds good. And yeah. the, go and search it. Oh, when oh, you yeah. see, right, obviously the graphics are good. When you're like, oh, these girls are so hot. Bro. What was it? What was <laughs> this one? Summer Heat? Yeah, click that one. I'll try it. Is it this? <laughs> no, it, the whole, it was like this. I mean, but... we always used to find Tomb Raider hot, right? She was like two pixels. <laughs> she had a big triangle head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And, and trying on something else as well. It's not this. Basically, the whole game. Though. I mean, this was fun, but that's the that's whole that's game. Seven Games Channel video that is <laughs> game that is. It was very, very sexualized. Oh. So it was very much like, I think you could only play with women. What? That's so bad. What game is it called though? I can't remember. I need to make sure I don't play that. <laughs> I need to make sure I delete that game off my computer. Oh yeah, whatever it was, it was. Uh, I don't think it would run now. No, well, it's weird. we live in a weird, weird world now. Cause at the same time, people are getting like, people are getting like, you know, more politically correct and you can't say as much stuff. And then like OnlyFans exist where it's like- Yeah, but that's all. In the dark. Take about the power. Oh shit, yeah, sorry. I, I'm, I'm not trying to oh, shit. I've, I've, I've been not- <laughs> Dead or alive, extreme beach volleyball. <laughs> Dead or alive? Was it what? this? You lose, you just look, bro, die. Look at it, look, look, right. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking left. Seeing, seeing the- Is it? It was something like this, but... Wait, but what, why is it called Dead or Alive? So if you lose, you just die. 
mm. the characters, I think. Oh, yeah. Are they dead or alive? No, dead or alive is a game. <laughs> if All I'm right. Alive, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I think I've seen this on a video about game, video game Easter eggs, and I think there was a mode where you could do topless on this. It may have been that. I never, I never knew the, the thing, but I might have to revisit. Oh, Twitter, <laughs> Twitter. Twitter's now called X. Are you, are you still deleted it, or you, will you get it back it, no. for the reason? Okay. No. I saw what Ethan said on Sidecast as well that he was thinking of. He was like, "Yeah, I think I'm gonna delete all, all the apps." Yeah, yeah. I watched that clip, and you were like, "Delete everything, or just delete the apps?" Yeah, I get, I get he it. He meant though. just delete them from his phone. Same way I've done it. Yeah, but he'll still do TikTok, so he'll do a new account, so he can still browse yeah. and consume content. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad shout. It's not a bad shout. I think <sighs> you definitely live more life that way. To be fair, I was actually it, really- you do if you don't get another account though. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, For example, well, if, you're, if I'm going to delete Insta, Twitter, everything, TikTok, yeah. but then I'm just going to make a new account. Yeah. It doesn't really... I mean, the whole point was more just not to see... Comments about yourself. Yeah. That's true as well, though. Which is true. Yeah. And it, even if you don't look at mentions, you still find stuff by mistake. Oh, yeah. But and TikTok especially, you'll still get sidemen. Yeah. 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 All right, well, I think we call it there for yeah, today. no, good episode. We've waffled for yeah, long enough. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for listening. Um, also, I was going to say... We've got guests lined up, but I, I've been really like busy, so that's why we've kind of been a bit mental. But yeah, we'll have guests not next week, soon. Callum and Chip are lined up. Just got to get them on on board. Yeah. So thanks yeah. for watching. Thanks for listening. Catch you guys next week. Peace. Bye.